Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my January favorites for 2019. It is my goal this year that I start doing these monthly favorites every month, something I want to incorporate into my channel. My goal is to get them up either the last day of the month or the first day of the new month. So I've already failed for the month of January. But I've been gone for like a week. Listen, this last week I was sick. I had the strangest sickness where it was like a different symptom every day but it sucked you know on top of that I've been working I started taking this class and my boyfriend came to visit me this weekend and it's just been <sighs> last week was hard but I'm back <laughs> I'm feeling so much better so yeah anyways so let's just get straight into my favorites by the way my hair is like nuts I'm about to go to work and I just didn't feel like doing my hair so I didn't think I would have that many favorites this month because I spent literally the entire first half of the month out of town away from my house so I literally for like 16 days I believe I was using the same makeup which is very hard for me but yeah surprisingly I actually you know I have a lot of stuff so first let's talk about skincare this month my skin became so viciously dry it was painful literally my face hurt from being so dry it was so cold outside in Maryland meaning the heat was on in my house blowing in my face and it dried the heck out of my face and I managed to save my skin with a combination of sheet masks a humidifier and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. This is just a small sample size, but this does magic for your skin, literally. So this and the humidifier and exfoliation, uh, I give complete credit to saving my skin this month because you guys, literally I'd go like that and flakes would fall off my skin and it hurt at night. This is very thick. I don't necessarily like how it feels on my skin, but if you warm it up with your fingers and really spread it out, when you wake up, your skin feels so much better and so much more soft this literally cured my skin it is pretty expensive it's a charlotte tilbury skincare product but oh my gosh if you are suffering from really really dry skin because of the weather humidifiers exfoliations sheet masks and the charlotte tilbury magic night cream <sighs> My skin is in a really good place now, so thank you to this product. So we're gonna move on to the makeup. So the first thing I have is the really good primer that I've been loving this month. This is the NYX Hydra Touch hydration base. I never really liked any base products from the drugstore as far as primers go. Then I discovered this guy that I picked up on, I believe it was Cyber Monday, and I really like this. It's very hydrating on the skin, so when I want something really hydrating, I will go for this. I like my Smashbox Primerizer more, but this is still really good, and it leaves the skin feeling very tacky, so if you have dry skin, this is a really good hydrating primer from the drugstore. So being on the road for the first two weeks of the month I only used two foundations I was bouncing between the two but this one really stood out to me because of how long wearing it is but it's also not heavy at the same time this is the Estee Lauder double wear I mean this is such a cult favorite foundation everybody loves it everybody's heard of it but it is so good it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it provides a medium to full coverage you can build it up and it just looks great all day on your skin no matter the temperature so I mean this is just such a trusty foundation it's something that I can always trust I know it's going to work and I know it's going to look good in all occasions so yes the Estee Lauder double wear was definitely a favorite of mine this month so this next product I'm very surprised that I'm talking about but I've been loving it for some reason so I've been changing a lot how I've been doing my skin makeup so I've been trying to use a lot less product, a lot less powder, things like that. And I have actually fallen in love with the KKW Concealer in the shade number 4. I would prefer a bit of a deeper shade, but this still works. So I don't love this when I put too much of it on. One, because I hate the color, and two, because that is when concealers crease. A way to get your under eyes to look very natural but awakened is make sure you don't get any foundation on your under eyes less is more layer as little as possible and I literally just lightly do one stripe under each eye and blend it out and I will put the tiniest tiniest bit of powder under my eyes to set and I have no creasing with this concealer it looks very natural but provides very nice medium concealer coverage I don't know what it is I've just been really liking this I think it looks really great under the eye I didn't love it before because I was applying too much 
but if you just use the littlest amount, I've been really liking this as an everyday concealer, and I'm so happy that I brought this back. I actually have a brush that I want to talk about with you guys really fast. This is the Sigma F77. It is named as the Chisel and Trim Contour. So as you can see, this is a strange shape. It's just really straight. This is the best nose contour brush I've ever used. My nose is like oddly rounded and so whenever I would try to go in with like a small blender brush or something to contour, I just could never get it straight on my nose just because of the way the curves on it were. This you literally just stamp it on and you can't go wrong with it. So I bought this at Riley Rose which you guys will see a haul coming up very soon. This is the best nose contour brush if you're looking for one. This is totally worth the money, 100% recommend. So I I have two highlighters here to show you guys. So this one was my favorite for the two weeks that I was traveling. This is the only highlighter that I brought and I hadn't used it for a while and my love for it was just brought back to life. This is the Milani Rose Glow Highlighter Palette. Now if you are looking for a beaming highlighter palette from the drugstore, this is it. This is one of the best highlighters that I've used from the drugstore. Aside from my favorite Wet n Wild highlighter, I really, really love this. It really creates such a beautiful glow on your skin. I tend to mix these two, but this one isn't too dark for me either. I just tend to go for these more goldy champagne-y colors. The sheen that this gives your face is so amazing. You want to be mindful of the base that you have underneath because this may not last that long. If you put it on top of powder, I would recommend not setting your foundation and putting this on top, that's when you're going to get the longest wear with that. And I mean, that's the price you pay for getting drugstore. But I mean, this is genuinely such a good beaming highlighter from the drugstore. You get three different shades in one. So if you are searching the drugstore for a good highlighter, I fell in love with this all over again. Also, this is from the Becca, Chloe, and Malika collaboration. This is the Chloe face palette. I have been obsessed with the highlighter in this palette. It is just so smooth on your skin. It really blends in with your skin. It doesn't look like you're putting it on top of your skin. Still in this palette, just a quick update while I'm at it. I still don't really like the blushes. The bronzer is very good. It's just a kind of a typical bronzer, but I am obsessed with this highlighter. I mean, I don't think you need to buy the entire palette just for the highlighter, but if you do have this palette or you think you're going to like the other colors in it, the highlighter in here is the best part. I just can't get over how smooth it looks on your skin. It just blends in and looks like your skin is glowing. I'm actually very surprised that I'm mentioning this, but oh my goodness, I love it so much. For the eyes, I've been using the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade BCC. I bought this on recommendation of Mel Thompson. She loves this. It's just a nude eyeliner pencil. Uh, for the longest time, I've just been using this Sephora random one that I love and I still love, but I did want to give this a try and it really is long wearing and I just really enjoy it. I wish it was a little bit more soft and pigmented because I do have to kind of layer to get the pigmentation on my waterline, but I mean, I think that's what also makes it last longer on your waterline as well. So I've really been enjoying this and definitely going to stay in my collection for a long, long time. Moving on to lips, I have two different lip combinations for you guys that I've been loving. The first one I want to talk about is the one that I'm wearing right now. I discovered this actually like this weekend, but it is that good that I am putting it in this video. So I start off with the Kylie Lip Liner in Exposed. Now this isn't my favorite formula of lip liner just because the actual product flies out of its casing all the time, but it is so soft. So these lip liners are really good to put all over your lips. So I basically use this as a lip color and I put this everywhere. It is such a gorgeous orangey peachy nude. And then I use the Pat McGrath Labs Dare to Bear lip gloss right on top. This is a match made in heaven. It creates just this beautiful peachy nude lip color that, oof, I wish I would have taken a picture of the look I wore it with. It kind of doesn't really go with my look now because I've been throwing on random things, uh, just playing with makeup today. Ugh, the look I wore with this, I was so obsessed with this combination. Also, this combination has been a winner for me. This is the Marc Jacobs Lip Frost and Sugar Sugar. Just a really light, 
pink nude shade. This is a sheer color and it looks really good without a lip liner. But I've also been loving putting the Bite Beauty Flat White Lip Gloss on top. So these are a match made in heaven when you have a really dramatic eye makeup look because it almost blanks out your lips but makes them glossy and juicy and nude. And this is such a good lip combo. Let me, I'll at least swatch them for you guys. So right here is the Marc Jacobs. Then here is the Bite Beauty Lip Gloss, which those two together are gorgeous, and they're gorgeous on their own as well. I love the flat white to lighten up any lip look when I want it to be glossy, and this is great in the center of the lips with like a brown lip liner. Just been obsessed with those. That is what my favorites are for the month as far as makeup. I do have one hair product favorite. I'll very rarely have a hair product favorite because I stick to what I always use, but I've been loving the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. The Not Your Mother's hairline is one of my favorites and it's affordable because I go through hair product like crazy. I just can't keep up with spending a lot of money on hair products and I'm not wearing it today. That's why my hair is crazy. But I will say this does make your hair look a little crunchy if you apply too much. I'm at a loss because my my hair is so frizzy that the only way to control the frizz is to use those products that make my hair look and feel crunchy. So I almost like that about this. If you do apply a little bit, it's not going to get crunchy. I just like to apply a lot because otherwise my hair is going to end up frizzy. Anyways, this really defines my curls and it takes away all of the frizz, but there is a price to pay with it. I still haven't found the perfect hair curling mousse or gel. If you know of a hair gel or a curling something or rather that gets rid of frizz and defines curls and waves please let me know like I said I like the not your mother's line a lot and what it does to my hair but I haven't found the perfect product yet. so anyways that was my favorites for the month of January 2019 I want to know what yours are and I want to know if you guys enjoyed this video so I hope to see you guys in the next video remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day